Hi, my name is Alexey Borisenko, and today we're gonna review the recently released Mistral Large Model. We play with Mistral API and deploy web UI to work with LLM locally or through API. We review a few datasets on which Mistral Large was tested. Also, we will test the Mistral Large model with DevNet related prompt. Mistral is a French based startup that quickly broke into the race between models. Mistral used Azure to host the platform and any data associated with the services. The platform and the data are stored in Sweden. They prioritize selecting providers within the European Union that strictly adhere to GDPR. Besides the open source models, Mistral developed an advanced language model that we will review today. Mistral Large supports 32K tokens context window, the same as GPT-4 32K. You can test the new model for free using Clechat Mistral, which we will do later in this video. The model also has access through API. Suppose we compare prices using GPT-4 and Mistral Large model. We can see the following information. Mistral Large latest model 8 US dollars per 1 million tokens as an input and 24 US dollars per 1 million token as an output. Mistral input prices are 7.5 times less than GPT-4 and 5 times less than output prices per 1 million token. If we come back to comparison, we can see that ChatGPT is still ahead by some tests but not in five times. For some test differences in a few points. For others, Mistral Large reached higher results than the rest of the models, especially regarding multilingual capacities in French, Spanish, German and Italian languages. Let's see what regarding API. Mistral has three API endpoints. All endpoints have a rate limit of two requests per second. 2 million tokens per minute and 200 million tokens per month. First, we will test simple requests through API using Postman. We will retrieve information about available models. We will use Mistral Large latest model and we will create chat completion using the following API operation. Our prompt will be in German language. We integrate ich the Umbrella Investigate API in DAS CM systems. And we retrieve the following JSON, which is pretty good. Models point us to the API endpoint, describe how we can make this integration. For interacting with external LLM API, we will be using user-friendly web UI for LLMs, open web UI, here you can see it. After deploying web UI locally on the laptop, let's open web UI dashboard, click settings, then open connections tab, and as the API base URL paste Mistral base API endpoint and create Mistral API key in your dashboard and paste it in API key field. Click save. Then we will ask to create simple game with the following parameters. We will ask to create Python code to make the T-Rex Chrome Dino game using Pygame with the following features. Display the score count, players able to move up by pressing space to avoid obstacles, draw a Dino cactus and ground using simple square object. Let's copy generated code, go through our IDE, save code and run our game. That's it. At the end, we will use as a part of prompt Cisco Umbrella API related data. We will paste the following prompt. 
using the provided umbrella API Postman collection, provide instructions and related Python script to complete the following steps. Get a list of any connected device using the list of all roaming computers API operation. Create a new tag called Protect Computers. Add the devices to the tag. Attach it tag to the policy and Umbrella API Postman collection. As an additional input, we will paste the Cisco Umbrella API collection in JSON format. Collection will be pasted into triple quotes. All this prompt 35,000 characters, which is equivalent to around 10,000 tokens. Mistral large models support up to 32,000 tokens. Let's see what the model generate for us. As you can see, there are a few Python scripts to get a list of connected devices, to create a new tag, and to add device to tag with a step by step instructions. Thank you. If you want to learn more, navigate to the links in the description of this video. Bye.